Hi, you're watching Professor Plays, and today I'm playing Factorial 1.1. We got basic oil processing working last time. You see our refineries are running, which means we have petroleum, which means we can go up here and build some more parts to our factory and get some more science going. I want to work toward getting uh, construction robots, and we need several pieces to make that happen. I don't know if we'll be able to get that done today. Let's... Uh, Let's just start doing that and see how far we get. This side of the bus over here is going to be fairly packed with different stores. So I think I'll go up here and I want to leave room for I want to leave room for another green circuit build. So let's get another green circuit build like the one we have and put that right there. I'm not going to populate it right now, but we'll later. And let's get these trees out of the way. Okay, so, oh, and research. What are we researching? So we need blue science, uh, which we don't have yet. Can I do any research before we get there? Is there anything remaining that can be researched that doesn't require blue? I don't believe there is. Um, 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 no. Okay, so that's what I want to build is blue science. And then that will be correct. That's what I'm trying to get as construction robots. All right, so there's our layout for green circuits. I want blue science. Uh, blue science requires... If you go to the intermediate products tab, and here it is, chemical science, I call it blue. Chemical science really requires a sulfur and advanced circuit and engine units. An advanced circuit requires plastic. Uh, plastic you make from coal and petroleum gas, and sulfur you make from water and petroleum gas. And petroleum gas is what we got from our basic oil refinery setup. So we can make sulfur, we can make plastic, and then we can use those to make red circuits, and then we can use the sulfur and red circuits to make blue science. So we got several steps uh, to go here. It doesn't really matter which one is first. Uh, this requires coal, this requires water, so it doesn't make any difference. So let's go to, uh, let's go to plastic. So there's plastic. And then let's go to sulfur, and there is sulfur, like, let's see, let's see, what do I need for, this is plastic, so let's do red circuits next, kind of in the order in which we're building them, I guess. So advanced circuits, or red ones, can be next. like that because they require plastic and green circuits so there's the plastic there's the green circuits kind of makes sense to put those next and then after that then we can do sulfur like this so there is sulfur all this goes down here like this Okay, that's a sulfur, and then trees are in the way. So that's sulfur, and then with that we can make sulfuric acid. So this is sulfuric acid. And then with that we can make batteries. You can see there's quite a few steps here. And there's batteries. And then after batteries, we can do Robots and electric engines. Yes. 
robots and electric engine units. And that will give us construction robots. So look at all the things we have to build to get there. So let's just start going and see how far we can get. Uh, am I making chemical plants? Apparently I don't have any, so that might be another roadblock here. Oh no, here's the here's the store. And I see something in the chest. Oh, good. So we are making those. So that's chemical plants. Do I need anything else while I'm down here shopping? I could use... I could use some fast inserters. And I could use a few more power poles. So let's do, let's be a little efficient about this. Fast inserters. And medium power poles. And let's grab some more belt because we're going to use it. How many chemical plants did I get? Probably not enough. 20. Mm. I might need to bump up this, this capacity. Well, I've got a few more. I got a few more. Let's see what we can do with those. Oh, and then pipe. Uh, I've got some pipe. Let's grab some more pipe. All right, so plastic first. We'll just build from left to right and uh, see if we can get some robots going. Got to be careful on my blueprints. Uh, the chemical plants, these are oriented the same way. And if you can see or not, the smokestack sticking up there, they're, they're the same. But some of my, some of my uh, blueprints, maybe one other, I don't know which one it is right now. It's this one over here, I think. Yes. I flipped them around from machine to machine. So this machine, the smokestack, is at the top center. And this machine, it's top right. So I did that because of the piping. I'm not sure that was a good idea or not, but that's the way it is. Which means you can't really plop down the machine and run like this to put them in place. So maybe you have a better design you want to share. I could flip them around, but I don't know. I kind of get used to it the way it is now, I guess. I'd have to experiment, I guess, and see if I like it the other way. It's not really a big deal, I suppose, is what I'm trying to say, because I'm used to doing it that way. Okay, power poles. And we need coal. Ooh, I don't know if I have coal on the bus. Did I? Oh, yes, I did. I put coal on the bus. It's right here. Okay, so coal goes there. There is coal. In fact, we don't need that now that we know what it is. And you don't need to go all the way up there like that. And you are plastic coming out, and you are going to go like that. And then we need petroleum gas, or petroleum it's called. Uh, where are you, petroleum? You are here. This is petroleum. Where is it? Here. Here, 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 here. Right there's petroleum. And, and, and. We're not get. Oh, we don't have power. We need to connect some poles over here to get power. That gave us power. And now we need to put their inserters in there. see some plastic.
There's plastic. Plastic! Where did I put the space for you? It is coal, sulfur, plastic is what I had planned. Coal, sulfur, and then plastic. Not that it really makes that much difference, but let's stick with what I put there. So coal, sulfur, sulfur here, plastic here. Hmm, let's flip it around. Put plastic down here, just to be different. So there is plastic. Okay, um, we can now make some red circuits. Let's see, let's populate that much right now, see what happens. And let's put power poles like that. Okay, and you. And you are red circuits coming out. Okay, and you are plastic coming in. Plastic. Okay, that is the input for those machines. Let's get power. Let's get the machine's outputs wired up here. Actually, it's outputs and inputs. Like that, and missing a power pole. Like that. Okay, we need copper green circuit. Or electronic circuit. I gotta call it by their colors. And we're gonna, we're conflicting with a splitter right there. The splitter right here is conflicting. Let's see, uh, what's the best way to get around this problem? Uh, this is green. Let's do this. And copper. Okay, we can do... Uh, I think we can do this. Before I lay everything out, let me... Let me see if this will work if I shift everything over by one. So if that's green, then I want copper to be shifted over by one. So if this is copper, what does that look like? Are you going to be in conflict with somebody? No, that'll work. So let's do that. You are copper. Oop, I don't have any undergrounds. I don't have any undergrounds. What happened there? There you are. And what else do I need while I'm here? Some of those and some more of these. All right. And 
few more of uh, machines, assembly machines, maybe. Okay, like that. Maybe some more power poles, like that. Okay, and maybe a little bit more belt. Okay, so there's plastic. Uh, here's green circuits. There's green circuits. Copper. Here is copper. Okay, that works. You are getting copper, yes, yes, yes you are. All right, and that will give us some red circuit. And you go, you go here and there's supposed to be green, green, and then red, so you should be red right here. Okay, there's red. All right, and then sulfur. see can we connect you with some power over here somewhere maybe like that yes we can and sulfur comes out here we need water and we need petroleum here's petroleum right here oops right here and this is petroleum here There's petroleum. And your water. And you are water. Inserters, belt. Okay, where's the closest source of water? Uh, probably, let's turn to pollution. Oh, speaking of pollution, ooh, let's don't turn pollution off. Okay, uh, yeah, change of plans. I better go take that fighter base out right now because that is being absorbed. This square missing like that probably means they're absorbing pollution. So, oh, and that's the only one, right? Yeah, so, what do I have? Oh, I've got defender capsules. Okay. I don't want them to attack. I don't think I even have a turret down there. Do I have a train, a locomotive? Yes, I do. Let's take the train. Hurry, hurry, hurry. You were supposed to warn me. You were supposed to not warn me. You are supposed to remind me to, to, to check those. Somebody's falling down on the job here. Okay, where's the... Uh, Okay, hopefully I've got some fuel that I can throw in here. Do I have any fuel? Yes, I do. It's down here. Combat bar on top. There we go. Oh, there's a base there too. This is different than this base. The one I saw is this base down here, right? Yeah. Let's take these both out. Come on. Stuck in the trees.
Piece of cake. These uh, these robots are not going to last too long here. Let's uh, let's find out what happens. Kind of doing, I kind of make the robot spin around by the way I'm moving. I was experimenting the other day with that. And you can actually get them to go, you know, quite a bit farther forward. Okay, so that was the danger, danger base. And uh, there's another one right up here, and then I might as well take it out while I'm here. Oh, there, maybe there's two up here. Yeah, there's a tiny one here. Let's take this out. Let's see if I can make that spin up there again. Yeah, that works pretty well. Kind of, if you kind of walk in loops, you kind of make them spin out there. Yeah, I'll have to keep doing that. And how are we doing here? Okay, there's. That's all water. That's good. I thought it was, but I could not really remember. I knew there was a big lake. Oh, it was farther than I thought, but anyway. Now they're, now they're running out. I'll stand here and deploy some more. You can deploy more before the uh, first batch runs out. They just, they just the first batch just they just drop to the ground when you deploy new ones. Yeah, that works pretty well. <laughs> okay, the spin move. All right, let's see. Um, yeah, uh, that. Well, it didn't show up on the map, but I did see it when I was walking around. There's nothing out there in the little island. Or a peninsula, whatever you want. It's a peninsula, technically, I guess. And that will give us a bit of a breather. Yes. Let me just verify that that peninsula was... I'm sure I saw all the way to the end of that peninsula. Sometimes when you, sometimes the uh, part of the playfield that you see in your main screen does not get updated right away. Yeah, see, you can see all the way out to the end of this peninsula here, but you don't see it in the map. It's not showing up in the map. I've noticed that before. They're not completely synchronized in what you can see in the playfield and what the map actually has. So now we can see it. The mini map and the, and the big map are appear to be synchronized, but not always what you can see on the main screen. So yeah, I don't. There's no more pollution problems for quite a while. It looks like so that's very nice. I thought we had a nice big lake over there, and we do. So that was a good choice coming over here and putting the um, using this oil field over here as far as pollution is concerned, because we don't have any biter issues to worry about now. Using the left mouse to to move the map. Left mouse button. Mouse left button. You know what I'm saying. Or what I'm trying to say. Alright, uh, let's see. Let's go back up here. Trying to get blue science and all the stuff we have to build to get there. So we got plastic. We have red circuits or advanced circuits. Let's see. Uh, actually, that 
sulfur we need. Okay, so sulfur. So let's do... Let's do this. Um, I'll be able to do blue science when I get... those. Let's move these down here for now. This is just a path. Paved path. Just, just kind of a reference. And then, right, so then I can do blue or chemical science next. Correct, because that requires sulfur red circuit. There's sulfur, there's red circuit. Yeah, iron plate steel, and we get blue science. So let's put that there. And then we can take this and we can put it back over here like that. Oops, it moved. Huh, that was weird. Like it, it like did it twice. Okay, I think it's okay now though. All right, um, sulfur, so let's, we need water. That's when I looked at the map, didn't I? I looked at the map, I said, oh, we need water, and then I realized we were, we were inviting trouble. So the closest water is probably straight down. Well, there's water there. Okay, doesn't matter. I need an offshore pump, which I have. I need pipe, which I have. Can I bring water up through here? Yeah, let's go straight through here. This looks like a, as good a place as any for water. And tree removal device. Ow. Careful. Rail. And that's apparently all we need to remove in terms of trees. Okay. What are the odds this is going to miss the rail? Ha! I knew it. <laughs> oh, it's... it's Okay, offshore pump. There we go, offshore pump. And it almost lines up, close enough. And straight pipe. And water. Okay, there's some water. Don't get run over by a train. I'm watching the mini map to make sure there's no train on the way. Because they will kill you dead. Okay, and by far that's the thing that's killed me the most in this game. More shore than biters. Trains. Water! There's the water. I'm kind of li lining up the pipe with the, um, with the undergrounds here to kind of get the same spacing. And water is here. Oh, this is water here. And this one can actually be stretched out a little bit farther. Like that. And then this can maybe be straight pipe like this. And there's water. And oh, we're making sulfur. All right. So let's go. Let's, we just need pipe over here. Kind of hard to see sometime in those ghost images where this goes. That's correct. And now we're running on that side, and now we're getting sulfur. And sulfur goes. Where's my plan? My plan for sulfur is above coal. Oh, because I 
flipped them around, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, I flipped, uh, right, sulfur and plastic I flipped around. Just because of the way I put them in the, the way I built them in the factory seemed like it made more sense to do it this way. Okay, there's sulfur. So now we can make sulfuric acid. This is the one where the chemical plants are flipped around. So I'll just, oh, I don't have any more chemical plants. Okay, let me grab a couple more. In fact, a few more because I need more chemical plants later on. Chemical plants right here. What's the cap on that chest? Let's do this. Let's make you bigger. Oh, messed up. There we go. Try it again. There we go. All right, and pipe. Pipe. It's hard to see, I realize, but there is an underground there. There's a straight pipe there. There's an underground there. There's a straight pipe there. There's an underground there. There's an underground there, an underground there, a straight one there. This is water. Here is water. And pretty close. Water there. Water there. There is water. And that's putting water over here. Yes, it is. And sulfur. Sulfur goes up there. Here is sulfur. There's no grenade. Flip the toolbars around. There we go. There's that. Inserters. Uh, tap into some power someplace. Like that. And we need iron plate. Iron plate. Here's iron plate. Once I figure, once I run the belt, you've noticed before I delete the little reminder. Those are just constant combinators, and they're just in there to label what the various bits and pieces should uh, should be. So once I've have the belt running, it's obvious what it is. I take the little constant combinator symbol out. You can leave it in there if you want to. It doesn't matter. Just need to put an extra underground to go around them. Okay, we're making sulfuric acid, which is this. And goes on the bus where sulfuric acid is. It's petroleum, light oil, uh, lubricant, and then sulfuric acid. So sulfuric acid I have scheduled to go here, right in this spot right here. Like that. All right, and that needs to go down there. So let's run this down here. This is sulfuric acid here, like that. Goes up there to make batteries. All right, so then you, you need, oh, and then we're, make, we're making, yeah, there's red circuits. Here's red circuits. Okay, you need sulfur and red circuit. There, right there, going up. So you are sulfur and red circuit. So here's sulfur and here's red circuit. So we can do, we can do, 
We can do this and this and this and that and that and red circuit goes here. Come on, fingers. Don't fail me now. You go there. Like that. Solve for a red circuit. Yes. And if you... S I just erased it. But if you see in my blueprints where I've got a constant combinator that shows, shows two items, it doesn't matter which side. It doesn't matter which side you put the items on. On my blueprints. Maybe on some people's it might, but not on mine. see it there it curves like this just so it doesn't fill the belt full of steel it's not really necessary but it doesn't need that much steel so I just put I just put half a belt of steel down through there steel is kind of a uh, a precious commodity, but it's hard to make enough steel, it seems. It's been the early game, at least. Okay, iron plate. Alright, iron plate goes here. Oops. Got a little, got a little hiccup there. Just to fill a yellow belt with steel is uh, quite a smelting array to do that. All right, so we need some power. Like that. And there's my iron plate. Okay, good. Okay, and you need steel. Here's steel down here. Uh, it's here. And once again, we don't need we don't need that now that we know what it is. There's the steel. And these are just ghosts, so we need those. How's our power doing? Okay, fine. So I mentioned before this little triangle with what looks to me like a dinosaur in there. That means this wants some modules. If you hover over it and point at the little triangle, it's on the right here where I'm pointing. It'll say um, filters, and those are speed modules, the blue ones, and it wants two. The other way to do it is do control C, copy the machine, and then look at the copy. And you can see that it's making pipe, straight pipe, and it wants two speed module ones in there. The reason it wants those speed module ones is this machine is not quite fast enough by itself to make enough pipe. 
um, that's why it wants those. So these require red and green circuits. So I can just handcraft a couple of those. Let me grab a few more of those and a few more of those and make another one. In fact, I'll make a few more because I think there's a few more places later on where we might need those. Okay, and did I get any of them yet? Yes, there we go. So open the machine up. There's two, there's two slots where you can put modules. You just pick up the module and drop it in there. And we're crafting. I'll wait till I get one more. There it is. And drop that in there. And now the machine with those in there is fast enough to keep up. And we have some blue science. Okay, so you can go like this. Where do you go, blue science? You go... You go down here. So all the way down. Oops. Rats. I stepped on somebody's toe there. Um, what were you? You were... You were... You were... You were... You were... You were... You were sulfur and red. Can I do this a little differently? Maybe... Let's try this. Sulfur red. And then blue. Going down this way. And I ran out of undergrounds. side of that belt. Like that. And it goes down to the machine or down to the labs like that. And now our research that we have queued up, which requires blue science, will proceed and we'll be going down here to be able to do construction uh, robots. It takes a while of course, you know, it takes all that blue science to go down there and do all that research, but we have it running and we will be able to uh, get the research completed, which will let us build construction robots. So then there's a, once we get that, we'll do that next episode. Once we get construction robots, a huge productivity bonus, because then what that means is they will do building for us. We can still build, of course, manually, but you put a blueprint down, and if they have access to the parts, which we'll talk about, they will go out and build the blueprints. That's just a gigantic productivity bonus when that happens. Let's just make sure everything is connected for the... Oh, it's got to be because we already have military science and it's sharing the same belt. Yeah, so there the labs are running. Yay! With blue or chemical science. So construction robots are not far away. we got a couple things we need to do. We're researching advanced oil processing. We have to make some modifications or, or not modifications, um, additions to the refinery. But I think next episode, 
we'll be able to get construction robots up and running. And you'll see what a huge productivity bonus uh, that is. I mean, this is the setup right here where it builds the robots, the construction and logistic robots. So I thank you for watching. If you liked it, uh, please click that thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Uh, if you have questions or comments, you can type those in the uh, comment, and I will attempt to answer them if I can. Take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.